Goody, my mind is blown. That song was simply incredible. Now tell me, what's going through your mind when you write a song like that? Uh, thank you so much. I guess it's a feeling that I, that I just get from the situation that we are all in now. Um, and this has been really challenging. It's been uh, now a long time where you are basically just staying at home and, and not able to do the things that you want to do. So uh, it's obviously hard for everybody. So I think that was the feeling that I got into this song and the lyrics and, and uh, just wanted to, to try and, and spread out some positive things now in these days that it's hard for everybody. Well, I think it's safe to say that you put a lot of positive that song it really was mind-blowingly good to me when did you realize that you had such a musical talent because that song surprised me and I think it surprised a lot of our supporters I think I realized it when I was quite young music has always been around me uh, my brother is a musician my father plays the guitar and and my mother um, sings or she thinks that she can sing at least <laughs> and then it's for others maybe to, <laughs> to judge that no no I'm joking she's she sings and this has been around me from early age and uh, I used to play in bands when I was younger. Uh, when I lived back home in Iceland, then I came, uh, became a pro soccer player and then I kind of just took a break from music because I really wanted to, um, to focus on my, my career as, a, as an athlete. And now I'm here in New York playing for a great team and, and Last two years, I've kind of been opening up the door again to, to sing more and, and try to write music because that's what I love to do. And, and uh, you obviously have a, have a lot of free time at times as a, as a soccer player, as you know. So, and, and that's what I, what I like to use my free time to do. That's to create and, and write music. And uh, yeah, I've even released an album in Iceland. So I've, I've known this for quite an early age that I, I could, could sing and play music and I really enjoy it. You're in the greatest city for it. I mean, the media attention, we love entertainers in New York City. That is for sure. What yeah. was it that draw your attention to come to New York City and play for NYCFC? Everything. It's obviously a young club, but still what I've seen, and I, I spoke to Anton before I came, what he had to say was just everything was so positive with the club and how they take care of everything and, and the quality of the players. and. And I've been, yeah, it hasn't been the dream start for me. I obviously got injured the first training back with New York, back when we were in New York. And, and then as soon as I'm ready, this virus comes up. So life is definitely asking me a question if I mean business or not. Um, but I mean business. So I really want to, and I, and I really want to um, focus on the football as well, or soccer. Uh, and I want to show my best on the soccer pitch and then all the extras that comes with it, living in, in New York, being able to, to experience Manhattan, that's just a bonus and amazing bonus, obviously. And, and then um, I, uh, yeah, I, I really want to do something with the music as well, but I'm, I'm really focused on not letting the music take over as being a, a professional athlete. Um, but I know that music gives me a lot of good energy so if I, if I can use that to become an even better soccer player, that's the, that's the perfect mix in a sense. Well, everybody uh, knows that you're a talented musician now because that was incredible. The song was brilliant. The writing and words were incredible. But what can the fans expect from you on the field as a player, as a soccer player? We're all dying to see you. What I can promise is that I will, will give 100%. I think that's just in the Icelandic DNA to work hard and to be a team player. I, that, I, that I can promise 100% uh, because that, that is just something set how you get onto the pitch and you're willing to work hard and you're willing to give everything for the team. Then if everything works out, I'm, I know that I'm technically gifted with the ball and I have a good left foot and I have good understanding of the game. So, uh, and what I've seen with the players that we have here so many good players, um, so I think that I will fit in perfectly with the with the rest of the team, and 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 I'm just really looking forward to to get out there and win games, and and I think that's probably the most challenging challenging part in in the daily life right now. That 
you're trying to live because we only have right now what we have it's all about now now i'm just focusing on having a great discussion with you and this is what we have but there are definitely times when you when you've been alone in your apartment for i don't know how long that your mind starts to wander and think about this other stuff and and as an athlete you're obviously used to these endorphin kicks and and adrenaline kicks from playing a game from from being on on practice from being competitive um that's definitely the most challenging part so but I, i'm i'm just yeah, i'm so excited to get on the pitch again and, and and just show what i can do instead of instead of talking about it because i always feel like it's better to to show what you can do in, instead of saying it well, I think it's safe to say that I speak for all NYCFC fans that we're super excited to see you at Yankee Stadium. And maybe now some fans are also excited to see you perform at Madison Square Gardens in front of a packed out <laughs> fan for a concert. Thank you, Goody, for your time. Thank you so much. Take care.